Welcome to Bulldog Care Tips from www.trainpetdog.com. American Bulldogs, English Bulldogs, and French Bulldogs. How are they different? When it comes to the bully breeds, there are actually a lot of differences between them all. However, many dog fanciers are unclear what those differences are. To understand them, it is important to look at the different breeds, specifically the American Bulldog, English Bulldog, and French Bulldog. To start, the American Bulldog is the largest of the three Bulldog breeds. They are tall, usually growing up to 28 inches and 125 pounds. And while they do have a sturdy and muscular breed, they are not as stocky as the other bully breeds. The dog has a long tail that tapers to a point and has a slightly rectangular shape with their length being slightly longer than their height. The American Bully is predominantly white, although they can be found with fawn, brindle, black, and many other colored patches. When it comes to temperament, the American Bulldog is a well-rounded dog that is known for being alert and athletic. They are a strong alpha breed, so they are not usually recommended for new or timid owners and really need a strong owner who can properly train them. When they have proper ownership, the American Bully is an affectionate and loyal breed that is very protective of their family. They are very brave and will give their life for their owners. The breed is usually good with children of all ages. The next breed that we will look at is the English Bulldog, which is a medium-sized breed that has very square build. The English Bully should be sturdy in appearance with a thick, powerfully muscled chest and thinner hips, giving them a top-heavy look. They should be short and stocky, and their tails are either pump-shaped or corkscrewed, giving the illusion of no tail. The breed can be found in several colors, including white and fawn, solid fawn, white, brindle, or brindle and white. The temperament of the English bully is one that is often at complete odds to the fearsome looks that he has. The breed is known for being a very affectionate and gentle one that gets along well with everyone. They are usually exceptional of children and can be protective of their family. They can be athletic, however. They also enjoy slower days spent lazing around the house. The English Bulldog is known for being very stubborn, and like the American Bulldog, the breed does need a firm owner who can give them consistent rules. The last bully breed that we are looking at is the French Bulldog. This is the smallest breed of bully, and they are characterized by their small, compact body that is square in shape. They should have an athletic and muscular appearance, although it should not be as pronounced as the American or English Bulldog. The shoulders should be slightly wider than the hips, and the tail should be short, and they can have the corkscrew tail as well. Frenchies can be found in several colors, including white and fawn, solid fawn, white, brindle, or brindle and white. The Frenchie has a wonderful temperament, and they are often described as very clown-like. They are known for being playful and happy, and are a wonderful companion breed that usually get along with everyone. They are very good with children, and this breed is known for being very intelligent. Frenchies are also known for being very sweet, and while they can be a dominant breed, they do not have as many dominance problems as other bully breeds. The American Bulldog has a box-shaped head with a medium-sized snout. The head is usually heavier than his back end, but not as pronounced as the other Bulldog breeds. The head is usually confused with a Pit Bull Terrier. However, the American Bulldog has a more squared shape to it. In comparison, the English Bulldog has a very broad head and has a short brachiocephalic muscle this creates heavy-faced wrinkles around the muzzle, including a thick rope of skin on top of the nose. The lower jaw is also overshot. 
The French Bulldog has a similar head to the English Bulldog with the abracheocephalic muscle broad skull. However, the rope over the nose is not as pronounced and there are not as many facial wrinkles. The most noticeable trait of the French Bulldog head is the large, bat-like ears that stand erect high on the head. Although there are similarities in each breed's temperament, there are differences. The American Bulldog is usually the most athletic of the three breeds. They are also more protective and can have more aggression problems. However, they are sweet and gentle dogs that make excellent family pets. The English Bulldog can also be aggressive with improper training. However, they usually love everyone and are considered to be very gentle dogs. Their care is usually more intensive than the American Bulldog, but similar to the French Bulldog, and while some can be athletic, many are very lazy. The French Bulldog is the charmer of the group, with his easygoing nature and clown-like temperament. The one with the most striking ears, the Frenchie, is usually a wonderful companion dog that fits into their owner's lifestyle. They can be aggressive like all Bulldog breeds, and all three can be very stubborn when they want to be. Thank you for watching American Bulldogs, English Bulldogs, and French Bulldogs. How are they different? To learn more about caring for your bully, visit the link below.